Hello and welcome once again to Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reads. I hope we are getting the guidelines of what we are expected to do and also adding flesh to the bone we are getting so that our spiritual life can improve and our walk with Christ can get smoother by the day. Hallelujah. I also said earlier on that these scriptural passages we have are just what can serve as guidelines and because we are running only or we are airing only for five minutes. And so it is necessary for us in our quiet time to reflect and as the Holy Spirit leads to get more passages, to get more insight on what we are discussing. Hallelujah. And so we have gotten to the level of casting out demons. We have ascertained that deliverance, uh, casting out demons requires deliverance, getting the, the demons, the spirits, the driving forces that are responsible for the actions or the habits in our lives that we dislike but cannot stop doing them on our own. And so when we have gotten delivered of these demons, then can our walk with Christ be smoother. Hallelujah. We also re mentioned that, or we also are aware of the fact that we need to implore the mercy of God because everyone whom Jesus delivered was out of mercy, out of compassion. So we need to also implore the compassion of God, the mercy of God, and also to be bold enough to command the demons out as Jesus did. Hallelujah. And so today in slot 18, we will be looking at, oh, sorry, in slot 19, we will be looking at what happens after deliverance. Hallelujah. You have prayed, and as I said, some cases the deliverance might be instant, or it might take a while, it might be a gradual process, and it might cause you to manifest, or you just discover that something has left you, you just feel light, like your body has been taken off your shoulders. And so, deliverance has taken place. Praise the Lord. What's next? We have as main passage today, Matthew chapter 12, from verse 43 to 45. This same uh, story or this same instruction is recorded in many other passages in the Bible. But I want us to understand what the Bible says. When a demon is cast out of somebody, it doesn't just go and relax. It goes to dry places, it walks and walks and walks. And what does it do? It comes back after some time to check. Is there any vacancy? And if the demon finds the house unoccupied, it goes and looks for seven more worse spirits than itself. And they come and they possess the person. And that is why it is difficult to, you know, get back to, to, to yourself after you have backslidden. Because the demons have come now more than the way they were before. It is not impossible it is a little more difficult because if there was one demon, now it's one plus seven, eight, according to the Bible. And so what do we have to do after deliverance? It is necessary for us to keep our temple, the body of God, occupied. Because when there is an occupant, there is no vacancy. When we have been delivered and we are now free, it is necessary for us to, fit, to pray, to fill up every vacuum with the fire of the Holy Ghost. So that when these demons come back, because the shore will come to check, there should be no vacancy. They should make fire burning in us. It should, be, it should be difficult. It should be impossible for them to get back into our lives. And for this fire to be in our system, we need to constantly feed on the word of God. We need to be close to the Holy Spirit. We need to be praying we need to be persistent. We need to be, you know, we need to dwell in the presence of God. Hallelujah. And sometimes we have prayed for something and we have felt like we have discovered that the demons have left us, but we don't see the physical sign. It is not for us to be discouraged. It is not for us to say, oh, I, you know, I still gossip from time to time. You, you have to remember that she that the son has set free is free indeed. And so, the process might be gradual, yes, but that doesn't mean that it will not happen. When you eventually feel that you have been delivered, you have to confess it. You have to declare it. You have to quote scriptures. You have to speak the word of God. You have to be in the place of God. You have to continue to plead the blood of Jesus to fill up every vacuum in your life. The fire of the Holy Ghost to occupy every space, every hole in your life. So that when the demon comes back, it will meet a steady occupant in the house and will have no place to get back into your life. So if you have just experienced deliverance, I beg you, my brother, my sister, let the word of God not depart from your mouth. Let the word of God fill your spirit. And above all, 
dwell in the presence of God. Hallelujah. You can like, you can share, and you can comment. The Bible is the road. Jesus is the code. Sin is the obstacle. And heaven is the destination. Shalom.